Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your incredibly handsome science teacher. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to use waves or how humans, how people use waves to communicate. In other videos, we have talked a lot about waves. We've learned the anatomy of waves and the parts of waves. We've learned what amplitude is and frequency and how to measure, how to measure uh, amplitude and frequency. And now we're going to look at how humans use waves to communicate because it turns out that uh, communicating is kind of an important thing. It's kind of important for people to be able to share ideas. That is really kind of uh, the basis for how civilizations have evolved and how we as humans have been able to build all the things that we've been able to build, whether that's art and you know, writing novels, or whether that's engineering and building bridges, or whatever. We need to be able to communicate. And without waves, we really wouldn't be able to communicate. Because remember, waves are when we interact, when uh, energy moves through an environment, moves through a substance. And that includes sound waves, which is my voice, right? And light waves, which means seeing things, and, and uh, radio waves. So these three types of waves, sound waves, light waves, and radio waves, form the uh, basis of communication. And we're going to talk briefly about each one and your goal as we go through this is to remember the advantages and disadvantages of using each type of wave for communication so let's talk let's start by talking let's talk about uh sound waves okay sound waves are uh my voice right Anything that I hear produces sound waves. So if I take two boards and I slap them together, bang, uh, you're going to hear this loud banging sound. Okay, and that uh, is made by the sound waves as the two boards come together and all the sound waves go out from those two boards. So animals use sound waves all the time. Like there's a dog that barks outside my office window where I am right now and interrupts my videos, you probably, if you listen to enough of these videos, will hear him barking in the background. Uh, he's communicating with his with my neighbors to let him inside. Uh, my kids, my whiny kids use, uh, just kidding, they're not whiny, they're sweet. Anyway, they use their voices to ask me for uh, things. Uh, my uh, I use my voice to communicate with my wife or with you as I am teaching you right now. Okay, so sound waves are an important way to communicate that even animals use. But sound waves have some, well, they have some advantages. What are some advantages of sound? It's very inexpensive. It costs me nothing. It's free. Okay. If you are like a human, we can make a lot of different noises. Some animals can't, like dogs, so they can just pretty much make one noise or a few noises over and over again. They can be whiny, and they can bark, and they can cry, and that's about it. Uh, but you can be quite expressive. It's very inexpensive. Okay, And you can communicate a lot of information using sound waves. I can tell you anything I want to tell you about any topic, any subject. So I can communicate a lot of information. 
what are some disadvantages of using sound waves to communicate? I bet you can think of some. Uh, what if I need to communicate with somebody in Australia and I am in West Virginia in North America? Can I talk to them? Can I go outside and be like, hey, a uh, guy in Australia? Uh, yeah, probably not because uh, sound waves don't travel very far. In fact, I can't even talk to somebody across my own neighborhood using sound waves. In fact, I can't really even talk to somebody across my own house using sound waves because they just don't travel that far. And especially when they hit walls and things. Uh, they, remember, we in other videos, we talked about the idea of uh, transparent, things being transparent, meaning that waves can go through them. Well, sound waves are blocked very easily by a lot of uh, substances. Most things are uh, opaque to sound. Opaque is a fancy sciencey word that means they block sound. Okay, So sound waves are very effective for communicating if you're really close, if you're in the same room and it's not a very big room and there aren't a lot of people in there talking, drowning out your noise, like at a party. But sound waves are not very effective for communicating uh, otherwise. Okay, so those are the disadvantages. Now let's talk about light waves. How do we use light waves to communicate? What are some ways you can think of, and there are a lot, that we might use light waves to communicate? Um, I'll give you one. So if you're at a sporting event and uh, the referee calls, let's say it's you're playing basketball and the referee calls a foul, Okay, he might, I don't even know, I just a bad example because I don't know that, I'm not a basketball fan, I'm a hockey fan. Uh, but somehow, I don't know, he does that, I don't know what a foul is, but he does something and that means foul. And uh, people from across the stadium at the very top row see the referee do that. They don't have to be able to hear his voice. It's a very noisy environment in a stadium. And there probably a lot of people are angry at the ref uh, when he calls that. They're like, you stupid ref. So anyway, uh, but we can all see the ref communicates with his, uh, oh, I've got one. I know this one. This is touchdown. Uh, the ref communicates with the entire stadium that quickly using light waves because we see the uh, what he does. Disadvantage, though. So an advantage, it, it works across a huge distance. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, we can use uh, mirrors. That's in uh, the olden days. They would sometimes use mirrors and they'd flash light across canyons and things. That's a huge distance to uh, communicate with using like Morse code or something. Uh, another way that we actually use light is through fiber optic cables. And those can go for hundreds of miles in the ground. Okay, and there we actually shoot light through these uh, these fiber optic cables, and that way we actually communicate a lot of information. Okay, but generally speaking, uh, light is a great way to communicate across reasonable distances as long as we can see one another. But you can't communicate. You're not. You can't be as expressive. You can't communicate as much information. The ref would have a really hard time. Uh, like quoting to you Shakespeare uh, with his different signs. Now, there's sign language, and of course, that's an example of somebody using light to communicate very effectively. Okay, But for most of us, it's a less effective way to communicate, but you can communicate at a greater distance. Now, the third type of wave that we often use in modern civilization to communicate, and this is new, Okay, the last 100 and some odd years, okay, 150 years or so, uh, but not prior to that, are radio waves. So radio waves are another type of electromagnetic wave, just like lights, but they are much more uh, they, uh, able to go through things. Objects are more transparent. They're able to be transmitted through 
walls. And, you know, I could be in my basement. I'm still going to pick up radio waves. I might block them a little bit, but I'm still going to pick them up. Okay. Radio waves are a very effective way to communicate across great distances, hundreds of miles, depending on the frequency and the amplitude. Uh, potentially, I can communicate with people on the other side of the world, even under certain conditions, using radio waves. Radio waves also... Uh, can be used to communicate a lot of information because uh, I can talk. I can talk into my walkie-talkie or my transmitter or my cell phone. Cell phones are use radio waves, and they, the signal is broadcast out, and then the person on the other side re receives it through an antenna, and you're able to carry on a conversation. So it has all of the advantages of sound waves, and even more advantages than light waves in that it goes at a much greater distance and really isn't blocked by too many things. Uh, but a disadvantage to radio waves is that it requires technology. It requires uh, batteries and power. And, you know, if your technology breaks, it's not going to work. Okay, and There's a cost involved. So we as human beings uh, communicate in order to build civilization. And we have been communicating since the dawn of time using sound waves and light waves. And then in the last, uh, you know, several decades, we've begun to use radio waves as well, which kind of combine some of the uh, benefits of both sound waves and light waves, but have the drawback of requiring power and things. So uh, when I ask you, what are the advantages and disadvantages of each type of wave? Your goal is to be able to tell me uh, what they are and uh, how those kinds of waves are used to communicate. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student so sign up subscribe to the channel and I release lots of videos also in addition to these ones lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics those ones you don't get to see my handsome face but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted and those ones are scripted so you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah 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 the end uh, subscribe thank you goodbye